We help take care of most of the large hoofed animals at the zoo, so giraffe, rhinos, zebra, bongo, coffee, a lot of the, the smaller hoofed animals as well. So everyone knows Hope now, so um, she's our favorite little baby. So I'm one of her many caretakers that she has. When Hope was born, um, she was very small. Normally they were about 150 pounds or so, and she was only 108 pounds. So that could have been a contributing factor of her mom potentially not wanting to take care of her. And we were able to step in and start providing that life-saving care that she needed. So everyone has been so crucial in the care of this calf. So the vet team came in, um, all the vets, all the vet techs, they worked tirelessly around the clock, as well as the hoofstock team. We were here multiple times in the middle of the night, sometimes for three, four hours at a time, trying to get her to take a bottle, just monitoring her health. And then nutrition came in, and they really are a big help in making the bottle. So that does take a, quite a long time to do. It was definitely a team effort, for sure. There's no way that any of us could have done it on our own. And now she's doing really well. She's getting close to four months old and she's being introduced to other members of our herd so now she spends a lot of time with Betty as well as Lolo and Layla just recently hopefully soon she'll be with the whole herd I was really lucky I've known I wanted to work with animals since I was a little kid um, so I was on that path really early on in life when I was in high school there was the opportunity for zoo academy at the zoo so that's for juniors and seniors to take classes at the zoo and shadow so I got started with that and just immediately fell in love with it and knew that this is what I wanted to do and just like loving animals since I was a kid I've loved art since I was a little kid it's a perfect way to blend those two passions of mine so now I have my own art business on the side it's called artist Mer. Um, you can find me on Instagram and I paint just about anything but I definitely love painting animals the most so I have painted lots of even other zookeepers pets um, and some of the animals that they actually work with and in fact I made these. Hopefully you guys were able to order one of the two designs that we had online. We also have these fun stickers that we handed out on World Giraffe Day. The designs have her exact spot patterns and it also has that white spot in the middle that is characteristic of the baby giraffe. And then it also incorporates the medical wrap that we used that was iconic for her in the beginning. We called it her purple scarf. Covered up the catheter that we had placed in her neck for her treatments. So now that she's older, she's feeling better, we don't need that anymore so she no longer has her iconic purple scarf. Yeah. She's much bigger now than she was when we made this design though. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.